You want to read it with me? Okay, come here. It says, to my handsome groom on our wedding day. I've known since I met you that you were the person I was going to spend my life with. You were the only person I could ever want, and I'm so happy I'm going to be your wife. Thank you for choosing to do life with me. Next time you see me, I'll be walking down the aisle, taking my last steps as Emily Clark. I love you so much. Let's do this. Future Miss Courtney. I'm Courtney. And your mom's going to be a Courtney. Yeah, and you just said my name. My name is Elsie. I'm just saying that mom's on the aisle too. You are. You're going to be the flower girl. Yeah. You're going to go right in front of mom. Yeah, I love you too. Did they look pretty cool? Mm -hmm. You like them? Mm -hmm. Mom did a good job? Yeah. Awesome. As a little girl, I never thought about my wedding day. I never pictured any of the details, the dress, the location, or any part of it really. I always wondered why other girls seemed to care, and I didn't. Looking back, I think it's because I couldn't possibly envision my wedding without having met you yet. You are the only person I could ever imagine spending my life with. Today is truly proof 1111 wishes do come true, because all of mine since I was 15 have been for this day to come. We started dating November 2nd, 2008. That's 5,390 days of loving you, and I promise to continue loving you for the rest of my days too. You're funny, kind, supportive, and such a good dad. Thank you for being your authentic self, making us laugh with and at you along the way. You work so hard to provide for Gray and I, and you love us unconditionally, and for that, I'm so grateful. Throughout the past two years of being engaged during a pandemic, I often got stressed and overwhelmed, and I would get frustrated and irritated planning this wedding, but I'd remember at the end of it, I'd get to marry you, and knowing that kept me grounded, focused, and excited all over again. I feel blessed to have found such a profound love, the kind of love people search for their whole lives. We have made so many amazing memories together over the past 15 years, and have built such a beautiful life together. I love you so much, Brett, and I vow to continue loving you and supporting you for the rest of my life. I vow to always root for you, cheer you on, and be your biggest fan. I promise to love you through the good times, the hard times, and I promise to never give up on us. I've called you by many titles over the years, boyfriend, partner, baby daddy, fiance, but now I finally get to call you my husband. Here's to me and you forever. I can hardly express how lucky I am to be standing here next to you. You are extremely hardworking and very independent not letting anyone or anything stop you from doing what you want to do. You are caring and loving to everyone and everything around you, and the greatest mother Gray could ever ask for. You are super energetic and always on the go, ready for an adventure. I know I'm not always as keen and usually need some motivation, but I'm always thankful after. You are absolutely stunning today especially, but every other day without any effort as well. I promise to always love, cherish, and support you through everything for the rest of my life, always appreciating how amazing you are and never taking for granted what I have. I'm very excited to go through the rest of our adventures as husband and wife. I love you.